Hello, I'm dating. Shoot, my hair is a mess. What? It's my say. Oh. All right. Anyway. Anyway, as you can see, we've got some better HDness. You, you know, my hand is a little gets made out of square pixels. It looks like it's made out of a hand. So, um, what do we have that straightened out? Dane's hands are made of hands. <laughs> yes, they are. So anyway, we're gonna get back to the agenda, old kind of stuff. So you know, we'll be bringing you some good game reviews. All right. So, all right. Well, we got, we got a pretty good show today. Yeah, we do. Oh boy. You have to tell them it's a good show for them to watch. Oh. Even if it's not. Yes. All right. So. Oh. Okay. Anyway, we've got a. Uh, uh, we're going to be reviewing Elements today. So, Pillsbury, bring up Elements. Elements. Friends, this is Elements. Now, frankly, we're gonna have to admit this. The little tiny creatures that you capture are knockoff of Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. But, however, it is overall a very fun game. There are a variety of Elements that you can capture which have different amounts of watts. In which case, you need to collect a certain amount of watts to end the level, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you work for an energy company. You don't really, but you know, you get it. Um, and also, another good thing about... Whoops, dropped it. Another good thing about Elbits is it has an amazing soundtrack for those of you who like to, um, have game soundtracks. I don't know. Shall we take a look? Yes, we should. All right. Let's get that and all set up. here we go, Elbits. So, friends, this is Elibits. Uh, Elibits are the little tiny green and red creatures, though they do come in different varieties, each one possessing a different amount of watts, which you can see at the top right of the screen, I have 75 watts right now. The more watts you get, the more power you get. The more power you get, the closer you get to completing your goal of how many watts you need to collect. So, um, this is uh, this is my first mission, so it's pretty easy. You only have to collect 900 watts, but the amount of watts you need to collect um, gets higher. And this is a power-up which you can use to also collect elements with. Smash it right there. There you go. It soaks up all nearby elements. Um, so yeah, this is basically it. You can also move uh, unheavy objects around. As you can see, there's a Nintendo Wii cameo right here. And yeah, and also, I need 350 watts to turn this uh, TV on. The more stuff you turn on, the better you do. Alright, and that's basically Elibits for you. Elibits. So, uh, up next, Pillsbury, would you please get that for me? Excite truck. <laughs> uh, Alright, Pills, I'm gonna have to let you review this one because I have to go help my mom with something. So, here you go. Excite truck. Um, He's better be back soon. Oh, uh, why? Because socks. Oh, you'll have to excuse him for, he's afraid of sock puppets coming out of nowhere. He thinks they're really real. He's crazy. They tried to eat me. Fine, get out of here. Leave. All right, so Excite Truck. It's another racing game, basically. Kind of like a PlayStation truck racer, maybe. But there hasn't been another, there hasn't been an Excite game since 1987, unless you count some of the WiiWare games. But... Hey there, old friend Pillsbury! Ow! That was very painful. Good. You know, I don't really think that you know what you're talking about. I think I should get to take over and run the Dane Pill Show. Ow! Ow! Get off me! Ow! Gerald! Car! Blah! Ah! <laughs> Medic! Oh, All right, see you later, Mom. <laughs> hey, Phil, what's up? I got mauled by Gerald Carl. Ger oh, who is Gerald Carl? Green sock puppet. The green sock puppet. Not the puppet. red one, the green one. There's a red one too, folks, really. He's kind the of... red one thinks I'm a racist. The green one tries to eat my eyes out. Here, finish reviewing it. I gotta, I gotta go get this taken out. Ah. Uh, anyway, Excite Truck, so, ah. really, it's like, it's the opening, it's the opening thing for the week, really. 
All it does is show you what a week can do. Okay, so this is people when they get it. Oh wow, this is great. And then a month later, this is all I can do. Really, that's it. Okay, trash. Um, yeah, so I mean really what more on brought back the excite series, really? And then they charge you fifty dollars to go like this. Woo! Woo! Really, I'm it's not better than money for button it. Button mashing, pressing the D-pad back and forth. Really it's easier. ridiculous. All right, and for our next game and last game, I'm sorry, we have a boy in his blob. Here you Classic go. Classic remake. This was one of the great All right, games bye. NES days. Wait, what? I have to go. All right, bye, bye everyone. I'll be back in a second. Sorry. So Avoid is Blunt, great retro game, they remade this, I actually honestly haven't played it yet, but if it's as good as the original was, then it's gotta be pretty good. You know, if it's anything like the original gameplay, it's... Well, that's very interesting, Pillsbury. Okay, hmm, I'm not so sure you have the best camera equipment to run a full-time show. You know, you're very... Oh, oh, jeez. Ah, you hit my head with a... Want another one? No, I don't. Get out of here. Nah. Meh. Out of here. so that it turns into something different, help you solve puzzles. I guess it's an ex exploration puzzle game. Huh, sounds good. Huh, well, so there are some things you can transform your blob into um, with jelly beans, so I wish I could eat jelly beans and turn it into different things. Yeah, Not really. That day. Shut up! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right, so. <laughs> I have a high metabolism, thank you. Anyway, uh, right. some things you, yes, shut yeah. up. Some things you can turn it into is a cannon and a parachute. And a rocket. Uh anyway, so yes. yeah. <laughs> like Oprah. That's not nice to Oprah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna have, and you know, it's a, you know one of the best things about this game. What? JT didn't put his name on it. Absolutely. Hallelujah! It's a miracle. Cause if you watched Epic Seven One, you'd know all about JT, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Oh, sorry, that was creepy. Um, <laughs> wasn't it three? No, it was one. Okay, maybe it was three. I don't know. Um, another, you know, obvious. Now it does have some glitches. Uh, at the end, you eat a giant orange jelly bean to finish the level. I ate the orange, the giant orange jelly bean, and a door is supposed to open up and let you out of the level. I didn't see a door, and I had to redo the whole level. That's not good for a game. But overall, it was a good game. So, um, yeah, all right. So that's a boy in his block. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Hold on, I have to answer this phone call. What? Hi, pills. Oh, shoutouts. That's right. Thank you. Um. So yeah, we have some shout outs to do. Uh, well, we're gonna do a shout out a epic episode. So today's shout out goes to No No Standing. N-O-N-O-S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G. Um, so yeah, so subscribe to them. Keep up the good work on uh, No No Standing because you are hilarious. Um, yeah, so, you know, subscribe to them. Help me out here. As a favor to me, subscribe to them. Because it would be very nice of you, and I'm sure that they would appreciate it very much. So, uh, that was the Dane Pill Show for today. Um, adios. Blah! And don't forget to watch the Diablo segments of the Dane Pill Show. Thank you, and good night.